What it is, what it do? You already know who it is. It's your boy, Jay Killen here, back with another episode of Doki Doki Relapse. Um, th again, this this should be taking place after the 100 subscriber celebration. So I just want, again, I want to thank you guys for for everybody who helped get get all of us here past the 100 subscriber mark. And I just can't wait to do bigger, better things with everyone here. With that being said, we're now in this. With that being said, let's get on with the episode. Uh, we're supposed to be confronting Yuri about her disturbing messages to us the other day. So, this is going to be fun, I guarantee that. So if you're excited for us to confront Yuri, uh, be sure to hit the like button and stay tuned because I think, I think these things are about to heat up here. Deep breath, killing. You can do this. My self-hype proves totally ineffective as it dissipates the second we approach the entrance. This is this is supposed to be Yuri's house, by the way, if I didn't make that clear. Or if you didn't watch the last episode, which I don't know what you're doing if you haven't. Noski being Noski proceeds to bang on the door. On the door. Calm down. Everything will work out. Right? I manage to keep my anxiety somewhat under control as I hear the knob click for the um from the inside. Hello, not. <gasps> Killin. Uh, hiya. W w what are you d doing here? She really doesn't want me to answer that honestly in front of Noski, does she? I, I was just coming to check up on you. You know, since you weren't at the club and all. Uh, uh, oh, oh, right. <laughs> Don't tell me there's trouble in paradise already. N Natsuki! <sighs> How about we go inside to talk? Right, sorry. Oh boy, we're off to a great start already. Me and Noski um, proceed to follow Yuri into her kitchen. Also, her kitchen looks oddly like our kitchen, except her fridge her fridge is black. I've never seen a black fridge before, it actually looks kinda dope. I noticed that Noski has been sneaking glances at me since we've entered her since we've entered the house. Speaking of which, let me take a screenshot of the kitchen. Okay, there we go. She's probably as confused as I am right now. Okay, maybe not that confused. Yeah, because Noski didn't receive any questionable images on her phone. Would, would either of you care for some tea? Sure, I'll take some. Thanks, but I'm alright for now. I, I see. As she goes to pour up the tea, Noski proceeds to make herself at home. She takes a seat at the table and ra relaxes like she owns the place. I wonder how many times she's been here. I once again feel like I once again feel an indescribable anger fester inside me. Why? I was like, how dare Noski feel comfortable inside Yuri's house? Urgh. Maybe I could find someone to get get her to talk about her home life while we're here. Completely opposite from Noski, though, is Yuri. She looks so stiff that she might that she might shatter if she bumps into something. Like, this is her first time in the house, and everything she touches is made of glass. I can't really blame her. I'm not much better than she is. I grab her attention when she has handed Noski a cup of tea. Hey, Yuri, can I talk to you for a bit? Um, uh, of course. We could talk privately in my room, if you like. Sure. That sounds good. Yeah, we could talk privately in her room. Alright then. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> I half expect Noski to make some kind of joke right now, but it seems like she's showing restraint. She's probably curious about how this will play out too. I follow Yuri as she leads me through her house. Oh, and yeah, this is indeed Yuri's room from all the other mods I've played, especially Blue Skies. I'm not sure what it is, but there's something unsettling about being alone with her in a bedroom. Y Yuri, about what you sent me earlier. I, 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 I'm so sorry. I, I, I didn't know what came over me. I, I, I just, I, I. <sighs> this is unexpected. It, it, it's okay if, if, if you think I'm a f f freak. You, you'd be right. I'm like, but a f freak. That's a, that's enough. But, 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 but I. 
Yuri, I, I, I can't begin to understand what you must be feeling. But do not call yourself a freak. I swear you're not. I can't say what you're doing is okay, and you know that. But know that I'm here because I care about you and don't want you to hurt yourself. Don't for a single second think that I'm not here to ins- Oh, don't think for a single second that I'm here to insult you. K Killing. You, you, you don't mean the, that. The breaks in her voice show that must, she must be trying hard to hold back tears. Yuri, I've already told you this before. I step forward to take her hand in mine. I would never say something insincere to you. I... I... I believe you. She takes the wrist of her sleeve and begins to pull it up towards her elbow. I have to brace myself for, for as I look at the gashes on her arm. Those look very fresh. She's obviously been doing this for quite a while. At this point, it's got to be a habit. One that I won't be able to break very easily. Where do I even start? I, I'm sorry about the picture. It, it, it's just... I was so happy after spending time with you. When I do... This, it's... Like a rush, right? There should be a question mark there, but it's, it's alright. Yes. After I did it, I just couldn't help myself. I wasn't thinking straight. I, I, I just wanted you to see it. I'm so sorry. I know I need to. I know I need to comfort her, but my mind is scrambled at this point. She basically wanted me to see her getting off. Well, <laughs> when you put when you put it that way, <laughs> when you put it that way. You know, this reminds me of a certain script I read not that long ago. Uh, <laughs> that thought alone is enough to make, make me dizzy. Yuri, why do you do this? Is it just because it's, it's exhilarating or is there something else? It, it's hard to explain. Take your time. This is important to me. Uh, all right. She takes a moment to gather her thoughts. The least I could do is be patient with her. It's not just that. At least, not anymore. I read about cutting ones after a character in the book I, I enjoyed used as a type of coping mechanism. The first time I did it, it hurt a lot and I never want to do it again. But then I did it again. That's when I felt the rush. After a while, I began doing it for a different reason as well. Sometimes, it's like my head is full of noise. Th thoughts coming from all directions, and all I want is the noise to stop. This is clearly painful for her to talk about. Well, at least she at least she's being honest with you, right? The cutting helps clear your head, right? Yes, yes. Trying to digest all this information is near impossible. I feel tears threatening my eyes as I try and comprehend what Yuri what Yuri goes through. She pulls down her sleeve and proceeds to hide her arm her arm behind her back. If you want to leave now, I'll understand. Yuri. I step I step towards her again. But this time it's for an embrace. I will never leave you. I feel a joke go through my body and tears on my face as I say this. Killing. I release Yuri and use my sleeve to wipe my eyes. After, 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 after all, that's what friends are for, right? I smile at her as I say this. I, I suppose so. You're darn right it is. And as friends, we have to look out for each other. Huh? Which is why, from this point on, I'm officially banning you from hurting yourself. Oh, because that's how it works, right? <laughs> that's so easy. From now on, I'm, pro I'm prohibiting you. I'm putting an arbitrary ban on you from hurting yourself. Well, if it worked like that, life would be a much better. Life, life would be so much better if things worked that way, MC. 
Who does this guy think he is? But Killen, I don't... No buts! And that is the bull goose loony, my word is final. I have spoken. I'll admit I don't know much about the subject. But I know that I can't let it continue. Because as your friend, seeing you get hurt also hurts me. I... I'm sorry. Nope. That just won't do. But what? From now on, even if you feel even the slightest urge to cut, call me, text me, anything to take your mind off it. Call me, beat me, if you want to reach me. <laughs> I won't let you go through this alone. And if you ever feel like your head is full and ready to burst, just know, th just know that I'm around. I'll be more than happy to hear what's on your mind. No matter what, I'm always ready to listen to you. I continue smiling at her, even though my own thoughts are more than a little fucked. I will help you, Yuri. Whether you want me or not, whether you want me to or not. Killin, you, you're so nice to me. <laughs> well, I always do strive to be a gentleman. My smile begins to feel less unnatural at this point. I, I, I. I'm glad. Yuri steps forward and returns the hug I gave her earlier. I was a little scared she was going to try and kiss me, though. I'm really glad that I have you as a friend. She ends the hug after a short while, and we just look at each other for a moment. My fear of a potential kiss does remind me of something I want to talk about. And, Yuri, I'm sorry if I made this worse for you. Sorry. Well, yeah. When we spent time with each other yesterday, things may have moved a bit too fast. I'm sorry if I'm, I'm sorry if that made it hard for you to think clearly. You you don't have to apologize. It was partially my fault. It's just that. She thinks about what she's going to say and begins to smile sadly. Killing. During lunchtime, I eat by myself. Did you know that? Yuri? It's a great time to find a quiet spot and do some reading. In fact, I always have some books with me. And, well, books are so full of amazing and inspiring people. People you want to fall in love with. Or people that you know just... Or people you just know would make a really good friend. Cheerful people. Who always put a smile on your face. Or deep thinkers and problem solvers who discover the mysteries of life. It might sound silly, but when I met you, it was like you were one of those people. You were nice to me and made me feel important. Like the things I thought and said really mattered. You made me laugh and feel a confidence I haven't felt before. So when you invited me over to show me something you thought I might, I might enjoy, I got so excited. And as we spent time together, it felt just like you were another character I had fallen in love with. I just got so caught up in what I was feeling, I couldn't help myself. I don't think I've ever seen her talk so clearly for, for this long, even when, we're, even when we were discussing books. She said it felt like, She said it felt like she was in love with me. But only because she saw me as someone from a book. Yuri, I'm, I'm sorry. But I'm not one of those characters from your books. I know. I'm flesh and blood. And the care and concern I feel for you are real. Killin. But I'd be lying if I said that I wasn't caught up in the moment too. Ever since yesterday, I've sort of been all over the place. I see. But I do know for certain that I enjoy spending time with you. Even if it's not as a couple, know that being by your side makes me really happy. Which is why I'm staying by what I said earlier about being there when you need me. Maybe once our and maybe once we get our feelings figured out, we can go from there. I I would like that. I would too, Yuri. We stand silent for for a while before I remember that we aren't the only ones here. Yeah, you left Natsuki out by herself in the kitchen. <laughs> you want to go back and like be a good 
be good friends and be good hosts, right? Oh, we, sh we probably should keep Noski waiting too much longer. Uh, oh, no, oh no! I hope she isn't too mad. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. The walk back to the kitchen has a weird feeling to it. It's not tense, but there's definitely something different. Nowski still seated at the table and appears to be watching something on her phone. I apologize for keeping you waiting so long, Natsuki. Oh, uh, that's alright. It's Mark Kellen's fault anyway. Man, how am I so lucky to have met someone as kind as you? Obvious sarcasm is obvious. You're lucky. <laughs> You're lucky that you've only seen my nice side. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. <laughs> if this is Noski's nice side, I'd hate to I hate to see her bad side. She <laughs> Also, nice to know that everything with Yuri worked out quite well. Um basically she kind of um personified her her, her book characters onto us, and I'm like, that's nice I guess. So technically speaking, Yuri never actually had feelings for us. She just we just reminded her of people she liked in the book, and we were like, Hey, I could get with that. That's not Pog. Would, would you like to join us for dinner, Killen? I appreciate the offer, but I should probably be getting back soon. I see. Then I will see you at the club tomorrow. Sounds good. I look forward to it. It was nice to talk to you, it was nice to talk to you too, Natsuki. I hear a lot of noise that I'll take his confirmation. Before I start to leave, I mumble to, I mumble to Yuri. And don't forget what I said, alright? I won't. Thanks again, Kaelin. Once that's taken care of, I begin making my way towards the door. I can hear Nowski's voice as I, as I turn the knob. What was that about? Exhaustion overcomes me the second that, I, that I'm outside. I feel... It feels like all the energy that was... It feels like all my energy has been totally sapped from my body. I should be happy, but still. Even though every molecule in my body is screaming at me to just pass out on the sidewalk, I instead begin my slow trek back home. Well, that was quick. I finally arrive at my house after what feels like an... After what feels like an eternity. By this point, my exhaustion has been replaced with numbness. I pull the keys out of my pocket and slowly unlock the door. I don't bother taking up my shoes off as I... I don't bother taking my shoes off as a shuffle into my house. I didn't meant to say as I shuffle into my house. But <laughs> it's just as a shuffle. We're a shuffling, a shuffling. As I take my seat on the couch, the events from, from earlier continue playing on repeat in my head. I should be happy that I got Yuri to open up, open up about her cutting. But can I really help her? Will I actually be able to change anything? The weight of my new responsibilities pulls me deeper into the couch. What will I do when she, what will I do when she does call or want to talk? I should recommend that she see a doctor or at least help treat her wounds. I dig my fist to the couch as my mind highlights all the things I did wrong. Damn it. And then there's the fact that Sari left, left early and lied about why. And me refusing Monica's invitation to her house for, into her house for coffee. I stare out the window at the clouds and try to force my mind off things. I try to recall the feeling I had during my walk with Monica. Even with her strange behavior lately, that walk just seems so... Right. Like we were just two normal high school students walking home together. Nothing ex nothing extraordinary or special about us. I wonder if things will be awkward between us now. This thought kickstarts my brain. This thought kickstarts my brain into one oh, into once again worrying about everything that's happened so far today. I just sit. Staring out the window, trying to make sense of what of what has happened. Kellen. He really does know something. He really could be like me. He knew about the weekend assignment, even though we hadn't talked about it yet. 
I'm overflowing with joy at the thought of someone, of being with someone who's the same as me. But I'm also feeling something else. I, I, it's okay that he didn't come in with me. He, he, he probably just had something to do. He ditched me for that depressed bitch! My skin crawls at the thought. That, 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 that's not true. It, even if he did go to see her, it's only because he was concerned. Face it. Even though he's different, he still doesn't want me. Who, who, he, who he chooses to be with is fine. I should just be happy that I'm not alone anymore. Don't lie to yourself. I want him to be with me. I want him inside me. Even though I know that thought isn't mine, I still feel tingling between my thoughts. In between my thighs. See? I knew it. I want him to fuck me. <laughs> no! I, I, I don't even care about that. Are you sure, Monica? Something, tell, something tells me that's not true. <laughs> he was like, God. I want him to fuck me, but why? Why won't he talk to me? <laughs> e even if all we do is t t talk, my body betrays my thoughts as the tingling sensation grows stronger. Why bother even lying about it? Everything I've done, I've done because I wanted to. I enjoyed watching my friends die. It made me feel so powerful. I am the god of this world. No one else matters. I feel tears threatening my eyes. I try to talk back, but nothing more than a little whimper comes out. I know how to fix this. He's bound to give up on her if he if he gets any worse. If she gets any worse. No! It, it it won't work. But things are different this time. Surely he's only ignoring me to spare her worthless feelings. She, she she's my friend. The tears roll down my face as I force myself to speak. Even if she isn't like me, I still c care about her. Why do I even bother caring about such trash? You know how to fix this. I I can't. Not not again. Just a little bit won't hurt. Even if she only gets a little worse, Kiln is sure to see her as a lost cause. I can comfort him before one of the others, before one of the other two cunts get a chance. I. I... 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 I try to fight off the fog that's encasing my mind. N no I, I... I won't let... You know how to fix this. 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 I know how to fix this. Ayo, ayo, <laughs> ayo, Monica, Monica getting down and dirty. I, I shouldn't be doing this, but the corruption's taken over. You know, you know, I feel like Ossier Bloodfall played relapse before he made Keeper reality. Cause this little back and forth that Monica's having with herself with the corrupted part of her and the and the remorse, remorseful part of her is is basically a microcosm of the entirety of Keeper Reality. So I'm like, huh. i definitely seen the parallels here. Th this isn't right. Even though I want to stop, my words do little to keep me from continuing. Trait depression. Trait of depression values at six. It's already at sex? That, that's probably enough to make Kellen give up on her. I desperately try to convince myself that what I'm seeing is true. But I keep on with what I'm doing. J just bump it up to eight. Nothing bad will happen if it's only eight. Access denied. H huh? I'm, I'm slightly relieved that my access was denied. However, that relief is quickly overcome by anger. My access has only ever been denied when I try to change Killen. Running traceback. Traceback blocked. 
What's going on? Show poem, please stop. Please stop. Monica, I'm hoping that you never read this, but I can't take any chances. I've been looking through some of the files, Morin. Well, I'm not mad at you. If I was in your position, there's no telling what I would have done. But things are different now. I really believe that I could change things. You don't have to be alone anymore. The pain of being alone, of being cursed with sentience. You don't have to face them by yourself anymore. If you're angry or want to get something off your chest, please, please just talk to me. I may still be a little dense, but I truly do care about you. We can make this place better together. We can create happiness. Oh, and I won't know if you open this file or not, so don't worry about that. Thanks for listening. Kellen. I can once again feel tears rushing down my face. What? <laughs> Uh, what's wrong with me? I lay my face down on my hands and begin to cry ugly sobs. I... I was going to... Again! I... I I'm, I'm so sorry. Sorry. Uh, everybody. I let him down. He knew better than to trust me. My mind begins to go foggy as I'm overwhelmed with emotions. Sorrow, anger, guilt, jealousy, fear, regret. Again, I'm seeing the parallels between Keeper of Reality and Relapse. I'm now starting to believe Acid and Bloodfall played Relapse before he made Keeper of Reality. I was swirling around like a hurricane of noise barreling through my mind. Here I am, rocking like a hurricane. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to be sick, but I'm too fatigued to move. I shut my eyes and clench the sides of my head with my hands. This does not stop the thoughts and feelings from swirling around, though. I try to scream, but no noise comes out. Or as I feel myself about to black out, I manage to focus on something. I truly do care about you. As I repeat the line over and over again in my head, the noise begins to fade away. Soon, all I can hear in the room is my heartbeat. And that one line. <laughs> he... he's right. I knew things could be different, yet I'm still trying to. My throat is dry and scratchy and my eyes feel sore and puffy. He was smart not to trust a monster like me. I return my head to its position on the desk and stare at the moon. Kellen. I wish you were here. Wow. Uh. Man, that was something. I'm not gonna lie. Anyway, um. Someone. I, I've, I've received some, some feedback that. People wanted to see shorter episodes from me, so I'm gonna so I'm gonna end this episode here. And let me know if you guys like the whole shorter episode shorter episode thing, or if you want me to go back to making longer episodes. If you like the shorter episodes thing, then just be sure to keep that up. And just be prepared for more parts. But in any case, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe to the channel and join the Discord. Link is in the description. Be sure to leave a like on the video if you haven't already. And thank you for being a part of the community. I love you all, and you're very, and you're more than welcome to be here. It's been real. It's been fun. It's your boy Jay Killen. Ciao for now. <laughs>